Hello and welcome, I'm Mark Rubin. Now, of course, everybody knows what turtleneck fighting is. It's when two turtlenecks are seen in the same place and the two offenders may engage by pulling their turtlenecks up over their heads and battling it out until one turtleneck is pulled down. It's a lot of fun. But not everybody knows about the birth of turtleneck fighting. That's precisely what we're going to talk about tonight in the first installment of The History of Turtleneck Fighting. The turtleneck, polo neck, or skivvy was first invented by the great Peabody von Turtall in 1928. But even that is subject to debate. Turtall was a wild, violent man. One night during one of his many blow-ups at his apprentice, Turtall starts screaming at him, higher, you fool, we can go higher, higher. But Leonard just, he could not grasp what Turtall was talking about. He, he lacked Turtall's vision. Do as you're told and go higher. Turtall was a real jerk. Not many people know this, but Turtall was a poor man. And he shared his workspace with another man named Rufus Longfellow Sr. Longfellow could not help but overhear. And what he heard, he liked. If you don't want your idea stolen, don't be a jerk and shout about it so just anybody can hear. <sighs> So, so a few days later, both Longfellow and Turtall returned to their shared workspace, displaying the garments each had made. Turtall was furious. He yelled, what are you doing with my turtleneck? To which Longfellow retorted, what are you doing with my long neck? Turtall cried, thief? And Turtall, being a jerk, attacked Longfellow. They didn't realize it at the time, but they were having the world's first turtleneck fight. Now I know what you're thinking. Why didn't Leonard stop them? Simple. He found it amusing. Someone almost died that day. I want to make this clear. I don't like turtle, turtlenecks, turtleneck fighting. Sorry. You asked me for my opinion, though. That's, that's how I feel. But the most interesting thing was when Longfellow walked out in shame. Turtle said, let me see what a broken man looks like. And when he turned around, the neckline was perfect. And Turtall thought, that's not bad. <laughs> Are we supposed to praise someone who attacked another man and stumbled upon a style? Someone almost died that day. Coming up, the turtleneck hits the streets and turtleneck fighting goes mainstream. Someone almost died. Followed by turtleneck fighting goes underground. Someone almost died. And in the 1960s, the masses protest their right to turtleneck fight. My father risked his life so that everyone could turtleneck fight. His dad almost died. <laughs> Not worth it. We'll be right back. 